So we're off, going on our morning walk. <laughs> Best places to stay in Cape Town. The truth about Cape Town. Rob Guilty Channel. Let's enjoy this day. So, the best places to live in Cape Town, the truth about Cape Town. Excuse the lockdown mask. Um, it's law now, regulation. We have to wear these things, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's where we are. But what are the best places to live in Cape Town? And well, the first thing you've got to know about Cape Town is it's probably one of the most beautiful cities in South Africa. I mean, if you go between Hart Bay and you're traveling through Camps Bay and you go through Clifton, you see those beaches and you see those views. It's absolutely stunning. It's the most amazing place to be. So that said, um, a lot of people come down here and they feel that it's really expensive. Okay. And um, yeah, that's because most people that come to Cape Town kind of head straight into the beach areas or the areas where the beaches are and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, that, that, that makes a hell of a difference to the whole scenario. So when you're coming down here, you know, you're going into the beaches and you're looking in the beach areas and that sort of thing, um, obviously it's going to be a bit more expensive. So, you know, the big thing is if you go down to Camps Bay, if you go down to Hart Bay and one of those areas, um, you actually are going to pay quite a bit more because those are the most popular areas. But the best kept secret in Cape Town, for me, is actually the Bloberg area. And if you come through Bloberg and you're on the beach and that sort of thing, I mean, the prices are much more reasonable, much closer, but you can get property inland, which, which will suit your needs a hell of a lot better. Okay, so we're in Camps Bay, the promenade. Look at that fancy car on the left there. There's a couple of cops here and uh, the traffic department, they're all waiting and hanging around. But this is the shopping area of Camps Bay where, um, everyone is doing the shopping and uh, on the right here you've got a, a like a pick and pay and a Woolworths and that sort of thing um, but uh, further than that you can see it's quite busy there's a lot of traffic here and uh, people sitting on the beach enjoying themselves beautiful area very nice palm trees the whole nine yards some property companies here um, as I said earlier all the properties here are couple of million dollars or let's say 20-25 million range you might be able to pick one up for about 15 million if you're lucky now the big thing here is you know there, there, there is the question of expense and there is a bit of a, a difference between wealth and poverty but I mean if you look at the poverty here it's the same as anywhere else in the country if you go to some of the bad areas or poorer areas they're all the same um, yeah, and uh, looking at, uh, for example, crime, um, I think crime is a lot worse elsewhere in the country, while they do say it's worse here. You might notice that I actually moved into the shade there <laughs> while we were talking about crime. Yeah, there was a bit too much going on over there, so I thought I'd move over here. There's not much of an area where I can actually go and work these days. Um, that being said, Soon we'll have our new studio set up, and that's going to be quite exciting. But anyway, we were talking about crime and um, the cost of property down here. So, you know, if you go live in Cape Town City or Seapoint, Cape Town City, this is the one city in South Africa that you can actually go and live in. It's actually quite amazing. Um, sorry about that. It's actually quite amazing where every other city in South Africa, for example, Pretoria, Joburg, that sort of thing, it's, it's almost unlivable, you know, it, it's, it, there's balconies that have fallen off, there's people throwing their rubbish down and it's just a horrible place to live, whereas Cape Town is more like a European city that, where the, the prices are high, it's actually expensive to live there and it's a sought after area to live in, Seapoint, Greenpoint, those sort of areas, but if you want to come and live out in the suburbs in Bloberg, absolutely marvellous, absolutely fantastic, great schools, all the rest of it, and uh, it's, it's an area that you might actually enjoy. So another big thing about Cape Town is there's so much to do here. There's loads going on. There's like wine farms you can go to, all the beaches, all the nightclubs, that sort of thing. Look, after this lockdown and virus and what have you, I don't know how many restaurants are going to be left open and pubs and that sort of thing. At the moment, we can't even go to them, so it's a bit of an issue. 
but uh, when it's all open and, and it's all running it's really great it's, it's actually a lot of fun here but uh, you know when comparing things like like crime um, I've had a few discussions with people and it would seem that because this town sort of gives out its statistics and uh, also I mean everything works here the roads are done the, the traffic lights work there's police doing their job and that sort of thing I think that's one of the reasons our statistics are a little bit higher because I've lived in those other towns up there in South Africa and they are impossible to live in in fact you live in fear behind closed doors bars that sort of thing just in case you get shot for your cell phone or whatever the case whereas um, down here you don't have that sort of fear or you don't live like that perhaps if you live in one of those horrible townships or you know one of those real uh, poor areas where there is a lot going on and a lot of drug deals and that sort of thing that might be an issue but I have to say uh, further than that if you're living in the normal suburbs and the normal areas and, and let me tell you I've driven through some of those poorer areas and I have not felt unsafe whereas up in Pretoria, Joburg and Tel if you drive close by to those areas you almost feel like the world is about to end or collapse around you so you know that said I would I would really from a personal opinion say I feel a lot safer living in Cape Town than anywhere else in the country and um, I can actually sleep with my sliding door open and, and not not be too concerned about it whereas up in any of the other towns I wouldn't even dream of that you know I wouldn't even dream of going out into the streets and that sort of thing so from that perspective fantastic also fantastic best area to live in for me you gotta try Bloberg and you gotta give me a shout remember <laughs> I'm in real estate call me first um, yeah for me the prices are right the prices are good prices are coming down now with this lockdown so they're in a, in a good place um, if, if you want to buy cheap you can get in the cheaper areas but who wants to live in the cheaper areas live in a good place if you come down here you want to live by the coast and that's why it's more expensive everything else food cars clothes that sort of thing same price I mean it's not going to change so it's not really more expensive to live here it's just different lifestyles and um, obviously the more expensive towns and the beach towns and that sort of thing are going to cost you more but the closest you're going to get for your buck is is probably Bloberg and uh, I believe Somerset West is quite good as well but uh, this you know, Bloberg Milk Boss is very very sought after this is the place to go so the truth about Cape Town is it's a great place to live and it's the place to go okay <laughs> very diverse very cool lots of fun everybody's great so can't wait to see you here actually it's gonna be quite fun hey thanks for watching that video and uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe <laughs> as they always say and um, yeah and also like my Facebook page it's down there in the description and also the Instagram you can follow me on Instagram as well if you're watching this there all good um, but if you're on YouTube the reason I ask you to do that is in case a video tour comes up or a home tour or these videos come out these educational videos or fun videos and you get them first I believe if you hit the bell it it tells you every time there's a video out there so thanks for watching Rob Guilty channel till next time cool